nicknamed the lakes as best in state. <laughs> and we mean all the lakes. So how do you choose the best one for you and your family? Well, joining us right now to walk us through all the many options that we have is executive director of I Love New York, Ross Levi. Ross, thank you so much for joining us. My favorite topic, I happen to be an upstate New York girl and I love the lakes there. So tell us a little bit about the different lake regions and what makes them so special, you think? Yeah, I mean, New York is just blessed with some of the most beautiful waters in America. We have over 7,600 freshwater lakes and ponds and reservoirs. And the really special thing about New York is, in addition to what you'd expect to do in those lakes, swimming and boating and fishing, in New York, you're also talking about experiences that may include uh, charming lakeside towns that have uh, farm-to-table restaurants and boutique shopping. You may be talking about wine trails. Uh, you may be talking about historic sites and museums. Uh, you may be talking about performing arts venues, maybe even amusement parks. Uh, so you're always near a great lake in New York, and that uh, those lakes always have something to do beyond the water as well. It sounds awesome, and 7,600 lakes, wow. Mm -hmm. So what are some of your favorite lake getaways? Uh, we're not allowed to have favorites when we uh, are the state uh, organ tourism organization, but some of our, our highlights for sure. You've mentioned Lake Placid, um, which is, uh, has held the Winter Olympics twice. So not only is that a wonderful uh, summer experience, but in winter, that frozen lake becomes a wonderland with uh, ice skating and also dog sled uh, rides and a toboggan chute that goes right onto the lake. Uh, not far away in the Adirondacks is Lake George, uh, which has one of the uh, oldest, last remaining uh, steam-powered stern wheel boats so you can cruise on the mini ha ha or go to the million dollar beach. Um, certainly when you talk about lakes in New York, you have to talk about the Finger Lakes. 11 different lakes uh, that go north to south, kind of like fingers on a hand, um, and they're known for their wines, uh, particularly those uh, white wines, uh, like a dry Riesling. And so you can take a wine trail, whether you drive around or you hire a car to take you around. There's even bike tours that take you around for tasting, uh, restaurants, cafes, even places you can stay overnight. Yeah, you mentioned the Dax, lots of things to do. You, you, don't, you mentioned also, you know, in the wintertime, you've got ice fishing, and you've, I've actually seen planes land on a lake up in the Adirondacks. It's so cool. Oh, yeah. I mean, there's so many interesting things uh, in New York. You know, if sports lovers uh, may not know about Otisaga Lake, but they know about Cooperstown, which is right up against it, because that's where the Baseball Hall of Fame is. Um, and uh, it's a, a beautiful area that also has the oldest museum of rural life in America, the Farmers Museum. Um, the Chautauqua Institution is celebrating 150 years of being right on Chautauqua Lake and having a summer long season of uh, daily uh, performances of dance, uh, arts, lectures, uh, kind of a, an enrichment community. And just down the street from there in Jamestown, Lucille Ball's hometown is the home of the National Center of Comedy. Um, and of course, we have two, uh, we have a lakefront on two of the five great lakes in America. Um, Buffalo is right on Lake Erie, um, and it's where the Erie Canal. Uh, goes into Lake Erie. Uh, the Erie Canal will be celebrating the 200th anniversary of its completion next year. Um, so there's great ways to enjoy the lake and the canal in Buffalo, in addition to trying buffalo wings in the city where they were invented. Uh, and then Lake Ontario is right near Rochester, New York, just north of there, in fact. Um, and right on the lake, there's a beautiful, old, uh, historic, family-owned amusement park called Seabreeze. The lakes definitely deserve best in state. I mean, you've, you've have by sure uh, sold us. But is there anything else you think deserves an honorable mention when it comes to the state of New York? Yeah, I mean, I think the, the thing to remember is that our lakes are uh, year-round experiences. You know, we talked about winter, obviously in summer, to go to those beautiful freshwater beaches, uh, do cruises, do camping along a lake, um, and fall, of course. We have one of, we have the longest foliage season of any state in the United States. Um, so the idea of being able to sip wine in the Finger Lakes and seeing that beautiful foliage reflected in one of those 11 glacial lakes, it's a really unique experience for New York.